All right, hello friends. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna give it at two minutes so we can have some other friends hop on. If you're on already, you can hear me. If you please give me a comment with how much you weigh in pounds. The kids, not the adults. <laughs> Good morning, Mel. I hope you're holding up with all of this. One minute. We'll wait one minute. <laughs> That's good, Mel. It's good for you and for Ada. I'm doing good. Uh, if you need some more kids, I can send mine to your house. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, we're, we're doing good. Okay, guess what? It's 10.02. We are going to start. What you're looking at right now are orange head cockroaches. Those are two of our racers that we are going to race today. I'm going to turn my camera around. You get to see my face for a moment. So good morning, all of my bug friends and human friends. So uh, my name is Jenny Mitchell and I run the insect zoo at Iowa State University. I am also an entomologist. What is an entomologist? An entomologist is a scientist who studies bugs. But you know what? As an entomologist, we don't only study bugs. We get to study the largest group of animals on earth called arthropods. Now, arthropods are an animal, just like we are animals, but they are different than us. How are they different than us? Well, where's your bones at? Are they inside? Yes, if you feel your arm, you can feel your bones inside your body, but can you see them? Can you see your bones? No, you have to have an X-ray, which is a fancy picture that they take of you that they can see inside into your bones. And you get those if you have like, uh, something broken and they want to find out what is broken in there. So you have to have an x-ray to be able to see your bones. Well, arthropods, they do not have bones inside their body like we do. Their bones are on the outside of the body. So when you look at an arthropod, you are looking at their bones you do not need an x-ray to see an arthropod's bones. Isn't that cool? So the bones on the outside of the body is called an exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is a skeleton on the outside of the body. So what kind of animals are arthropods? Those are insects, spiders, tarantulas, millipedes, centipedes, scorpions, shrimp, crabs, and lobsters. So even some of the animals that we like to eat, they are very closely related to insects. And you know what? They're all made of the same stuff. So when you eat shrimp, it's just like eating cockroaches, which we are going to race today. That's right. Now, um, since we're talking about eating insects, I just want to mention that Monday, 
we are gonna have a very special insect zoo live. My good friend Shelby from Jim and Each Crickets is going to join us to talk about how she raises crickets for humans to eat. Isn't that so cool? So hopefully we're gonna get a sneak, sneak peek at her cricket farm. And I'm gonna eat some bugs, of course. And I've also got some yummy crickets to give away during the live from Shelby. Okay, so back to what we're doing today. So today, we are first, we are going to race cockroaches. Next, we are going to see how much a cockroach can pull. So it's gonna be super fun. Then we're gonna calculate how much could you pull if you could pull, if you were as strong as a cockroach. So first I wanna see how fast do you think you could run in miles per hour if you could run as fast as a cockroach. So you can comment below, how fast could you run if you could run as fast as a cockroach? Okay, now while you're thinking about that, my son, Ren, who is five, if you are watching Ren, hello, and Poppy, hello. Um, so he found something this morning and he wanted me to show it to you. So I'm going to do that. We're going to talk about it. Get him up here. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera around here. You see that little guy? This is a stink bug. It's a marmalated stink bug. Brown marmalated stink bug. You call it a brown stink bug. Now... These guys are pretty cool and they smell, which I don't know if you've noticed yet, but I love things that smell. When you smell things, it helps you remember it later. So this stink bug, it does smell. If you find a stink bug and you rub it and then you smell your fingers or you even just smell the bug, you can smell its smell. It's kind of a sweet smell. Now, uh, this guy right here, he is a pest. What does that mean? A pest is an animal that causes harm to plants or other animals. So this guy is a pest to plants. These guys eat any plant. Any plant. Any plant. So not all bugs are good bugs. Some of the bugs, they, they cause harm. They are pests. And this is one of them. Now, if you find these in your house, which why would you find this in your house right now? Well, these guys can overwinter in your house. Yeah, they can get into your house in the fall and then hide out and just live there. Or they're just coming out of the place they overwintered from outside and they meander right into your house. Now, if you find these guys, you can either take them outside, let them go, or you can put them in the freezer and use them for a fun activity we're going to do next week where we are going to pin Insects, yes. So we have a huge collection of pinned insects here at the Insect Museum. And next week, we are going to learn how to pin insects. Isn't that going to be fun? I think it's going to be fun. Or you know what you could do? You could smash this guy. You could. Because he's a pest and he's going to eat your vegetables that you like to grow or that new tree that you just planted in your yard he's going to eat those leaves so some bugs it's okay to smash some bugs it's not okay to smash in fact most bugs it's not okay to smash but this one is a pest so thanks ren for finding this stink bug today and i don't know if you noticed but he's not moving and that's because he is not alive anymore but that's okay because that Oh, he's moving his antenna a little bit. That means I get to show you something really cool on him. So 
here's the underside of his body. And do you see here, let me move his legs. Whoops, come here, my friend. Okay, so here's his head. And then do you see this line going down right here? Do you know what that is? That is his mouth. Yes, these are true bugs. Hemiptera. So they have this piercing, sucking mouth part. You see it there, how it sticks up? So he sticks that into a leaf and he sucks out everything from the leaf. And that means that that leaf is going to die and the plant could actually die too. But look at that cool mouth part. So because he was not alive anymore, we are able to see his mouth. You see how you can learn from insects that aren't alive? Just like you can learn from insects that are alive. He's pretty cool. All right, well, thank you, Ren, for finding that for us. And we're going to come over here, and I'm going to show you our amazing race track. Let me turn it around here. So this is our traveling race track. And if you saw the Bug Olympics in 2016, uh, this is the race track that we used. We also have a giant race track that we use when we have events here on campus. And you can see there's all different lanes. We've got six lanes. And everyone has a name. We've got Ramble and Roach in lane one. La, Cucara La, La Cucaracha in lane two. Ricky the Roach in lane three, Roach Tastic in lane four, and Marilyn Mon Roach in lane five, and Roachy Balboa in lane six. Today we're going to be racing lanes three, four, and five. Ricky the Roach, Roach Roach Tastic, and Marilyn Mon Roach. All right, so. You see, my, my office is getting uh, very messy with all of this. I'm going to actually turn this around the other way. Here we go. And I'm going to introduce you to our first racer. Let's see. Let's just turn this around here. Does anybody know what kind of cockroach that is? Hey, we got some guesses. We've got 80 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour, 9 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour. Those are some good guesses. So this cockroach right here, his name is Ricky the Roach. He is an American cockroach. And if you watched the cockroach video or the live uh, you would know that these are not actually from America. They came from Africa. If you did not watch the video on cockroaches, it is on our Facebook page right now, and you can go and watch it. So the American cockroach is one of the fastest running insects in the world. Yeah, that's fast. So we're going to race him, and to do that, I have some tools here with me today. I have a, uh, where's my camera? At? I have a stopwatch and we have the race track. Now you can race bugs on your own if you want to. You can do it on your sidewalk. You can find a, um, uh, I forgot how to clear this. I haven't used these in a while. You can find a, a ruler and mark out. Um, so this is 36 inches, which is a yard, our racetrack. And then all you have to do is find some bugs to race. And you can race things like centipedes. What? Centipedes are so fast. You can also race. How do I clear this? Oh, for goodness sakes. Ah, this is silly. I'm going to get a stopwatch on my computer. 
So you can race bugs too and find out how far they, how, or how fast they can run. Um, my friend Jill says, do they bite? I think you're talking about the uh, stink bugs and no, the stink bugs do not bite. Here we have a stopwatch on there because I cannot figure this thing out. I had it cleared, but then it started. Technical difficulties. We're moving on. Okay, so we're gonna race this awesome cockroach. We're gonna see how fast he can run. Okay. Let me get this over here like this. It'd be super helpful if I had a friend here with me to do this with uh, because I don't have six legs like an insect. Okay, you go in there. There you go. Whoa, look at him go. He's already off to the races. Come here. Okay, whoops. Nope. There you go. Okay, now he's hidden in there. You see him in there? That's his starting block. You convince him to come down. Okay. You ready? You gotta go down. You gotta go down. Okay, on your marks. Are you guys ready for this? Get set. Go, 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 go. Oh no, he went out. <laughs> come on, Ricky the Roach. Now these guys are, hard, whoa, are harder to race, which is why we have two kinds. Oh, I lost him. Where'd he go? Okay, I lost my roach. Hang on, I'm gonna show you this awesome beetle here. Um, I don't know where that roach went. He's on me somewhere. If I had a friend here with me, he would be able to find him. Holy Moses! Coming back. I can't find my cockroach. Does anybody see him? Well, he definitely... It's a good thing I found a male, because he can't have babies. Maybe I'll bring him home with me. I lost the cockroach. Ah, that's not fun. How about we race something that is a little bit slower? <laughs> okay, let's do that. So here we have the orange headed cockroaches. And when we race at the Bug Olympics, this is what we use because the American cockroaches are so fast and it's easy to lose them. So, we're gonna race these guys instead now. Let me turn my camera around. Okay, so we're gonna do Roach Tastic and Marilyn Monroach. So that is lanes four and five. Come here, my friend. There's Roach Tastic ready to race. And there is Marilyn Monroach ready to race. Okay, let's see if we can get this done without them running all around. And don't worry, I will keep an eye out for my American cockroach. Did you know this is also a comedy show? Totally. I'm going to take it on the road. Oh wait, we already do go on the road. Except for right now, we can't go on the road. All right, so we've got Marilyn Monroe Roach in line five, in lane five, and Roach Tastic in lane four. Let's see how am I going to do this. It'd be so much better if I had a friend here with me. Don't you think so? Because I'm going to need both hands for this. I'm going to grab that real quick as soon as I ready. Set. Go, 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 go. Oh, Roach Tastic, look at him. He is on the finish line. And there goes Marilyn, my Roach, behind. See, those guys 
are much easier to manage. And you notice that they don't really climb. So let's get them to turn around and race back down here. Look at how fast they go. Holy cow, that's fast. Here, we're gonna put this right here and this right here. Okay, should we race them again? Let's do it. Okay. Ready, racers? On your marks. Get set. Go, 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 go. Look at him go. Oh, that was, oh, that was so close. Who do you think won that race? Do you think it was Roachtastic or Marilyn Monroach? Five or four? Oh, look at this guy. He's like, okay, I'm going to follow the lead of the American cockroach. Let's get him back down here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, look at him go. Who do you think won that race? Yeah, it was very funny, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm just now reading your comments. How can you tell the difference between a stink bug and an assassin beetle? So assassin beetles are not beetles, they are bugs. So assassin bug, they are also a hemiptera, which is a true bug. So they also have those piercing sucking mouth parts and they have a different shape of the body. So stink bugs are in the family Pentagomidae, Pentagon. So their body shape is like a pentagon. Whereas an assassin bug has like a longer, slender body. So um, they look much, much different. And if you ever need me to tell you if it's an assassin bug, just shoot a picture of it and send it over to me and I will let you know. The lost roach on you made my day. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad I could make your day. <laughs> that, that's great. It was funny. I still do not see the cockroach. Um, maybe it's in my hoodie somewhere. It's a good thing I'm not grossed out by bugs, right? Yeah, it's very funny. Okay, let's race them again. You ready? Roachtastic, Marilyn Mon Roach. Let's see who wins this one. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Marilyn, go, Marilyn. Go, go, go. Whoa, Marilyn totally won. And she even got a late start on that one. That was super awesome. Let's get them back to the starting line here. Whoop, you're stuck. Come here, friends. Come on, come on. No, you're going the wrong way. Whoops, 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 whoops. Come on, there you go. Go, 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 go. Boy, Marilyn Monroach is just on it today. Let's see. Roachtastic. If you can redeem yourself on this race. I mean, Marilyn Monroe even gave you a head start, man. So let's see again. Are you ready? On your marks, get set. Go, 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 Roach Tastic. No, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> you had a chance, man. We should do it one more time, don't you think? I think we should. Come here. Go, go, go. He was just a little bit confused. Okay, are you ready? Ready, set, go, 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 go. Look at that, Marilyn Monroe again. She is the champion. Marilyn Monroe is the Roach Race Champion. Congratulations, Marilyn Monroe. There is your Roach Champion. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, there she is. Roach race champion. Roachtastic, I'm sorry. Look, he's look, he's spitting right now. He's like, I'm scared. So he's spitting so that he will smell bad and I will not eat him for dinner, but he does not have to worry about that. I am not going to eat him for dinner. Okay, I am going to slide my racetrack out of the way let's see Marilyn is amazing you are right Marilyn Monroe she's just got it going on today just fabulous okay now 
we're gonna do something really, really fun. So this is something that I did when I was in college. And my entomology professor, my favorite, favorite professor of all time, her name is Tiffany Hang Moss. It, excuse me, I went to the University of Nebraska in Lincoln and Tiffany taught the insect biology class. Super fun class. And during that class, we did cockroach pulls. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're going to use our friends, the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Remember these guys? So if you watched the roach live, then you learned about these guys. If you didn't, it's okay. Those are still on Facebook or they're also on YouTube and our Insect Zoo website. So check out that guy. So these guys, I weighed them first of all. They weigh five, this one weighs 5.6 grams. Then we have another one here that weighs 6.5 grams. So they don't weigh very much. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this worksheet right here. And I know that it's backwards, I'm sorry about that. We're gonna use this worksheet to figure out how much could you pull if you could pull as much as a cockroach, okay? So we need a couple things to do that. I'm gonna set this up here. Oh, oh holy cow. Hello, I just dropped my phone. See, be nice if I had a friend here to help me. Dropping my phone all over the place, guys. Let's see, I gotta get this set up here so that I can, uh, so we can see what we've got. Okay, first, this right here is a paper sled. And all I did was cut a piece of paper and then I taped a, a, a string to it. You can use any string. I don't think you should use like a thread like that you sew with. That's not gonna really be um, thick enough. And then I have some washers. So these washers, I weighed them and each washer weighs four grams. Let's see if this is gonna work. Maybe not. Let me turn this around. We can get this like this. Or how about like this? Sorry guys, we're gonna get it figured out. Hey, look, that works. Okay, so paper sled right here and washers that I weighed and they weigh four grams. Then we're gonna get our super awesome cockroaches, the Madagascar hissing cockroaches, and some duct tape. So what am I gonna do with this duct tape? Well, my friends, I am going to tape the paper sled to the back of the cockroach. So I'm gonna cut some tape here and get my cockroach out. So this one weighed 6.5 grams. So here he is, and I just wanna reassure you that this is not going to hurt our cockroach friend. So anybody who thinks that they are, wor or thinks that maybe this is gonna hurt the cockroach, it is not going to hurt him. And you gotta push that on there really good because these cockroaches have that waxy layer on their body. Okay, so we've got our cockroach here, and look, he can pull that paper sled very easily. See that? That's super easy for him to pull. But now we wanna see how much weight can he pull. So we're gonna add some of our washers to this paper sled. How many washers do you think he can pull? Now remember, he weighs, hey, where are you going? Come back over here. 
This cockroach weighed 6.5 grams and these weigh four grams. So these weigh 2.5 grams less than our cockroach friend. So how many do you think that he can pull? You would pull an apple <laughs> and a banana. That would be good. I would pull a cupcake. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys love those cockroach races. So how many of these do you think he's going to pull? Do you think he's going to pull one or maybe, oh, we've got seven to eight washers. That's a good guess. Okay, let's see how many he can pull. So I'm going to start with two and let's see if he can pull it. So I'm just going to tap on him. Is he pulling it? Look at him going. I'm going to put another one on there. You gonna go? Yep. So he can pull three washers. Let's see if he can do another one. Can you pull another one? Let's see. Wow. Yes, he can pull another one. Let's see if he can do another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. Look at him go. Can you guys see him? Holy cow. He is pulling a lot. Maybe he's trying to find that American cockroach. Let me get some more here. Whoa. Do you see how many he has on there so far? We need to turn you around, big guy. Look at all those washers, friends. Whoop. He's also hissing. Can you hear him? Wow. Look at him, he is still going. He's still going. Oh, he is so strong. Look, he's still trying. Look at all those washers. Too bad I didn't have weights on that American cockroach. He's still going. Oh! Okay. That was because the tape couldn't hold it. Oh, let me get my friend here. Okay. Good job, look at him. He is so strong. Okay, now we're gonna put him back in his little area here so he can rest. Get back over, buddy. Guys, look at all of those washers. And he probably could have pulled more if the tape would have been able to hold on to him. That is so much, isn't it? Okay. He's trying to, look, he's still climbing. He's like, I am a champion. I am so strong. You are a champion, buddy. So now we are going to turn this around. And I have this whiteboard here. Wow, yeah, he is so strong, isn't he? Okay, so now I have this whiteboard. Can you see it okay? I know it's backwards. Let's see. So 
some way I can um, flip this. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here's my equation board. And we know that the weight of the washers were four grams each. And do you remember how much the cockroach weighed? Remember? 6.5. Let me get my sled here. All those weights. Okay, so the roach weighed 6.5 grams. And how many washers did he pull? Let's count them. Are you ready? We're going to count these washers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 washers. Wow. 55 washers. That is so many. So now we need to know, I'm gonna scroll up here in my comments. So pulling power of the roach, that's what we're gonna figure out right now. So he pulled 55 washers and we're gonna multiply that. That's what that X means, it means multiply. We're gonna multiply it by the weight of the washer, which was four grams. So I've got my calculator here. We're gonna take 55 times four. That equals 220. So that is how much weight he pulled, 220 grams. He's just trying to climb out. Okay, so now we have to figure out how much could you pull if you could pull as much as a cockroach? So we're going to take the pulling power of the roach, which is what we figured out up here. That's this 200, this is 220 grams. So that's 220 grams. Plus the weight of the roach, which was... 6.5 grams and then we're going to divide that by the weight of the roach so come right here. so 220 divided by 6.5 that is 33.8 so this means that he pulled 33.8 times his body weight. So now we need a weight of a human, 55 pounds. So Eli weighs 55 pounds. So we're gonna put 55 pounds in here. So Eli, if you were as strong as this cockroach, you could pull, holy cow, that is a lot. You ready for this? 1,861.5 pounds. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Let's do another weight here. Okay, let's see. How about um, Shelly says that Jolie weighs 32 pounds. You know who else weighs 32 pounds? Ren. My son Ren weighs 32 pounds. <clears throat> so let's calculate that. So 33.8 times 32 equals 
1,081.6 pounds. Jolie, if you could pull as much as a hissing cockroach, you could pull 1,081.6 pounds. That is a lot. That is so much. Okay, you wanna do it again? I wanna see how much our other cockroach can pull because he can pull, uh, he can pull, um, he can pull, do you think he, so remember this guy right here, he weighs less. So this friend weighs, um, where am I? 5.6 grams. <clears throat> and the guy we just did weighed 6.5 grams. So do you think this guy can pull more or less than this guy? We're gonna find out. So we're gonna do it all over again. I'm gonna get a new piece of tape. Where's my friend at? We want the 5.6. Here we got the 5.6. Come here, friend. Okay, then we're gonna, let me see if I can go back here. Nope. Sorry. I'm gonna move. Okay, so we're gonna tape this paper sled to his back. Ooh, he is strong. He's like already trying to get out of my fingers. Good and stuck on there. Maybe. I'd like to make little harnesses for them. Wouldn't that be cute? If anybody would know how to make a harness for a cockroach so we can have the sled on a harness, that would be great. Okay. Ready? Let's see. There he's going. Oh, that one went off. <clears throat> he's still going. He's still going. Look how strong he is. So remember, he weighed less than our last champion. Oh, the tape came off. <laughs> Let's see if we can put the tape back on. Because we want to give him another chance, don't we? I do. I want to give him another chance. Let me get some newer tape. Whoa. Hello. Dropped it. Okay, I still have our cockroach friend. He's on my hand. He's just hanging out there. He's like, doo doo doo. We're going to get another, a new piece of tape. He's pretty strong. Look at that pile of washers there. Okay, now he's crawling up to my shoulder. He's following the same path as his American cockroach friend. <laughs> I love hissing cockroaches. You know, they make really good pets. So if you want a hissing cockroach, you just let me know and I will mail you one. They're really fun. I only send males, so you can't have babies. And they're super easy to take care of. They don't stink. I made that just a little bit too long. Unless, of course, you let their food sit in there too long. And they like to eat fruits and vegetables. 
And they also need some cat or dog food. So if you want a pet hissing cockroach, you just let me know. We sell them for $5. And I'll split the shipping with you. Okay. That was my floor. Okay, let's see if he wants to go again. Let's see. Go, my friend. There he goes. He's still pulling it. He's still going. He's going. We're almost at 55. We only have a few left. Go, go, go. Can you go? Oh, he's moving it. Can you go? Look at him. He's trying so hard. Look at him. He's not going to give up. He's like, I'm going to pull this. Are you done? Let's see if he's done. Whoop. He done? I think he's done. Okay, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. So he pulled 50. That is really awesome. Let's let you go here. Boop. <laughs> and he still has lots of energy. Now, if you were pulling that much, would you have that much energy? I don't know about that. I wouldn't. Let's turn this around. Turn the camera around. Okay. So he pulled 50 weights. And you remember our last friend, he pulled how many? 55. Okay, we're gonna start at the top, right? Ready? So the weight of the washer, those are these right here. So the washers, those weighed four grams. And the weight of our roach is different. We're just going to turn that around. It's 5.6 grams. And how many washers did he pull? He pulled 50 washers. So the pulling power of the roach, we're going to change this to Five, zero, fifty, and the weight of the washer was four grams. So fifty times four is two hundred. Okay, so now down here we put in. So the pulling power of this roach is two hundred grams. He pulled two hundred grams. So the pulling power of the roach is 200 grams plus his weight, which was 5.6 grams. Okay, so we're gonna take this 200 plus 5.6 that equals 205.6. And then we're going to divide that. That's what this line means. We're going to divide that by the weight of the roach, which is 5.6. So remember this one right here? This roach weighed more than our last roach. And it was able to pull 33.8. So we're going to say 33.8 times its weight. That was our first roach. So our second roach can pull 36.7 times its body weight. Is that more or less than our heavier guy? 
36.7 is more than 33.8. So our guy that weighs less can pull more. What? So let me find, let me see here if uh, I can find another weight here. Who? here we have a good one. How about 75 pounds? So Toby is 75 pounds. Let's see how much Toby could pull if he could pull as much as our cockroach. So we have 36.7 times 75. Wow, Toby, if you could pull as much as our cockroach, you could pull 2,752.5 pounds. What? That is so much. That is crazy. Let's see if we have another one. How about... Who do we have? Oh, let's do Ada. So Mel, Ada weighs 47.4 pounds. So let's put that in our equation right here. So 47.4 pounds. So we're just gonna take this number, 36.7 times that's what this X means, 47.4. Wow. Are you ready for this? Ada, if you were as strong as a cockroach, you could pull 1,739.6 pounds. That is so much. That is just so much. All right. Well, guess what, my friends? That is all that we have today. Wasn't that fun? So we got to see my camera. We got to see just how much you could pull if you were as strong as a hissing cockroach. And that is a lot. So you could pull like almost 37 times your weight. So if you want to figure that out, all you have to do is take your weight times 37. And that's how much you could pull if you could pull as fast or as much as a hissing cockroach. Okay, friends, join us on Monday when we're gonna talk about eating bugs. It's gonna be so fun. I love it. And then also next week, we're gonna learn how to pin insects. And I'm also going to try to find like a tripod to hold my phone. <laughs> yeah, because that would be better. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, check it out. I'm wearing an insect zoo hoodie. And we have some of these only in adult sizes. We don't have them in kid sizes. So we have small, medium, large, and extra large. And if you are interested in one of these hoodies, you can get one. Just shoot me an email. They're $30 and I will split the shipping with you. So $2 for shipping. So you can email me zoo at iastate.edu. If you are interested in having the insect zoo visit you, once we're able to get on the road again, just go to our website, zoo.ent.iastate.edu. And there you can find the information on our programs and also the fees to get us to come and the request form. If you are a teacher and you would like the Insect Zoo to join a Google Hangout or a Zoom or Skype, I would totally do that. So you can shoot me an email, zoo at iastate.edu, and let me know when you would like me to join your classroom virtually. It'll be super fun. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Go forth and love the bugs. <laughs>